Africa is not a country. Africa is not a country. The African continent is the second largest continent in the world. Africa is not a country. The African continent consists of 54 different, unique, amazing, beautiful countries. Africa is not a country. The African continent has a population of over 1 billion people. Africa is not a country. There are over 2,000 languages spoken in the African continent. Africa is not a country. Ghana alone has a vast variety of languages spoken from Ewe to Fante to Ga to Tri. Africa is not a country. Africa is not a country. So why does the media continue to refer to this African continent, my great continent, as a place? Every news story, Africa this, Africa that, even though it may be targeted at a particular country, they just want to generalize. You know a while ago, um, Bill Clinton tweeted, I just landed in Africa. But where, blood? Where did you land though? Where? <sighs> where do I even start this topic? I am just, I just don't understand the ignorance that some people have, especially in the West, about Africa, the continent, not the place, not the village that everyone knows everybody, but the continent with 54 different countries. It's even made me hate the word Africa because whenever I hear the word Africa, it's always used in the wrong content. I actually hate the word. They should ban the word Africa. They should ban it because it's just always used in the wrong content. I remember, I think last year or two years ago, this girl won, raised a lot of money for this charity called Mary's Meals in England or Scotland or something. So she raised money for this charity. God bless you. Good for you. <laughs> that helps developing countries and the school children to get food. So she was going to travel to Malawi. Malawi, where's Malawi? Southeastern part of the African continent. But guess what every news story said? Guess what every news people said? Guess what every report I heard said? We Chanel is going to Africa. We Chanel is going to Africa. Why? Why do you have to do that? Why can't you just say Malawi? Yeah, people may not know where it is. And what? If you want to go the extra mile, Malawi is southeastern part of the African continent. Educate people because people are really ignorant. So you just feeding into that oh she's going to Africa, she's going to Africa, feeds into the whole Africa as a country thing. It needs to stop, it's not even fair. Everyone's going to Africa um, overall, but she's going to Malawi. Listen, if there was a shooting, where, oh, how can I give an example? If there was a shooting in Glasgow, if there was a shooting in Glasgow, would well, the news people go, oh there's been a shooting in Europe? No, it doesn't make sense, but why do you apply that to the African continent? Why do you do that all the time? All the time. So if Maybe the news people could go that little step ahead and go Malawi, southeastern part. That might educate a few people. You know, next time you ask someone, oh, where's Malawi? I know where that is, yeah, southeastern. Why? Because the news people said it, not just Africa. Where is that? Where? Where? I personally, I personally feel that the whole world looks down on my great continent you know i keep saying my great continent yeah i mean it my great continent of africa we, they look down upon us because it's we're seen as this place where i'm gonna read i wrote all these down so let me just read it because i can't keep it in my head we are this is the image that the, they portray to the world of africa the african continent the african people kids are walking out with the big bellies because they don't have food to eat there's farming everywhere everyone's just dying left and right Woo, poverty here disease everyone is affected with hiv and aids where people don't have what where people are just where people are just dying we're just we're just dying yeah we're, coffee oh whoa okay sorry we're just dying where well, the women have their breasts out you know hanging because we're all in you know, all these maasai tribe where well, we don't wear shoes we don't wear shoes, okay? But we all live in huts. We live with lions because we're all lion whispers. We live with a lion. I've got a little lion in my shed called Kweku. One other one called Kwabna. We all live in deserts. Did you actually, <laughs> did you actually know that there's only um, about 8 to 10 countries in the whole continent of 54 countries that offers you the experience of actually going on a safari? Yeah? There's only 8 to 10 out of 54. So we all don't live in deserts, okay? But we all travel on elephants. Um, they just describe it as the most horrible place in the world. And our whole purpose of being this African continent is just to be pitied. Pitied, pitied, pitied. Like, wow. 
wow that's our whole purpose I, it seems that we're just meant to be there to be pitied by the rest of the world so I was in Ghana the first time in 2011 and I say the first time because I left Ghana at the age of about three traveled to Botswana and then I came to the UK since I was six seven so I have sort of been brought up in the whole British system so my views and opinions of Africa the continent was all that I could see from the TV and you know school modern studies just modern studies let's not go to modern studies classes when you're the only black kid and it's like I was in modern studies class one time I don't know I was in about maybe third year or something and they were doing was studying Africa of course as we do we study Africa and it came on TV and these these children were eating I think they were eating Gary Gary and Miracle Sugar or something like that or maize meal and then some girl next to me was like oh that looks pure gross but have you tasted it though I like it with some peanuts and everything. Anyway, moving on. So I went to Ghana for the first time in 2011, and up to then, you know, my perceptions of Africa was just was just what I was fed to the media, through school, through everything. So I landed off, landed. I got off the uh, the bus, the plane. What am I doing? I got off the plane at Ghana International Kotoko Airport, and to be frank with you, I was so shocked. I was shocked and how modern it looked because I I expected it to be like wooden a little wooden thing for your scan I would I expected to see wood basically because that's what I have been portrayed that's what the that's the perception I had been given about how it would be like it's it's really really and I was so shocked you know that scan it just looked like this the Glasgow airport if not better and I was just so shocked that the fact that I feel like I've just been lied to about what Africa is as a whole and then you'd watch and then you'd watch a news story and like we Kofi is in the news story Kofi needs you to help him because Kofi doesn't have food and Kofi doesn't have food and also obviously Kofi doesn't have the ability to wipe the flies off his face that's a whole different topic I don't know how to make those adverts because a fly is not exactly like a dog or a lion you do this it goes away but then somehow there's a whole on their face and everything I, I don't know how to do that effort because me when I go there if there's a fly I do this the fly is gone it's not a big deal and don't get me wrong I am not saying that there isn't places where the kids do have big bellies and they're starving and people are on the streets let me do my list I know well from Ghana's perspective the roads can be so horrible the roads that can be so bad like the what do you call those things the potholes I remember I traveled from Asaman Kese to Koforidi on that was a journey of a lifetime because it was it was a roller coaster and a half. It was something else. The gutter system, the way the gutters are open and people put their rubbish in, people put their waste in, and then when it rains, the purpose of the gutters were there for it all floods up and then it goes into people's houses, people's businesses, which is so unhygienic. The sanitation in terms of like the bins, we don't get bins, people to come collect the bins on a regular basis. And I know that our electricity supply is not the best. This whole doomsology lifestyle, doom so doom means doom means off. So it means on so doom -sology, that's what we call it I think it's quite cool actually but yeah that's beside the point I know our electricity is not the best I know that we have problems and I know that we are not there yet but why is it that the media portrays that side of it only that's the only side that we see we don't see the positive side that's the only side that we see and that's my problem please come with me Come, 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 come. Come with me to some beautiful beaches in Ghana. Come with me to your house in East Legon. Don't get me started on these. East Legon for me is like the Beverly Hills of Ghana. Like these houses, this pff, this house I can never forget. You walk in here, yeah, there's like a fountain. Literally, just in a fountain. Just, that's just decoration for outside. Then you go in, everywhere's made of marbles. Downstairs they have like a big room with like chandelier to the floor. They have another um, living room upstairs. With another chandelier to the floor it's just a spare room it's filled with all come to the kitchen go to the the bath the toilet yo that i think the toilet was made of like some sort of gold and i'm sitting here living in like a semi-detached house my room is the size of a box honestly if i lie on the floor my head will touch it my head will touch it because i'm just that tall and my room is that small my my room is like a tin i feel like a sardine sometimes oil or tomato oil oil sardine like yeah so i'm living in a box people are living in mansions and then you're showing me a picture of the lady who is in a hut because that's all that we see because that's all that's there that's my problem the problem is that the media is only portraying the negative aspects of my great content I'm gonna keep saying that 
so now we're gonna move on to what people say that just icks me and just shows just how ignorant uh, uh, they is and I'm not saying I'm like the most knowledgeable person in the world but damn are you real are you okay are you fine because you must not be fine you need to go to church get a prayer you need deliverance that's what we're going for so when someone goes oh my goodness we've just been on holiday I'm like oh so where did you go Oh my goodness, I went to the Caribbean, it was so beautiful, I went to Trinidad Tobago, the sun was shining, I loved it, and then I went to Italy, oh my goodness, it was just so amazing, I went to Canada, I just loved it, I went down to England, oh my goodness, the beaches were so fine, and then I went to Africa. Rick Ross once tweeted, oh, I just landed in the beautiful country of Africa. Rick Ross, beautiful country of Africa. Yeah, I'm silent because I'm over it. I am over it. How can you name countries and then name an entire continent? The second largest are that. Oh my goodness. That is the one that really annoys me. You name countries, then you name them. So where exactly did you go? Africa, but where? You know, Africa. Slap! Oh my god! When someone goes, "Oh, Deborah, you're African, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Do you know a local shikabo? Um, who's a local shikabo? You know, she, she's African too. But where's she from? I'm from Ghana. Ah, uh, she's from Zimbabwe. Right, and I should know her because. But you're African. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not funny I don't know that person just because they're African stop that it's so like as if you that's what I think that's what I think people think it is I think the thing that we live it's like one big village oh what's up lad Charlie what's up oh god how far hey go oh mm, mm. no right the next one do you speak African? <laughs> Teach me some. I don't speak African. There's no such thing as African. There's no language called African. The fact that you even say that makes you so ignorant because you have not understood what I've said to you before. That is a collective, a collection of countries, 54 to be exact. So you can't ask me if you speak African. Even if you go and go, oh, do you speak Ghanaian? Or do you speak Tanzanian? That makes sense more than saying if I speak African. Yeah, there's Africans, but there's no African. No. Don't ask me if I speak African. No, I speak jollof rice. Ah, and then so no no. Do I speak African? Do you speak European? Eh? <sighs> Please, I hope someone learns something from this because it, it needs to stop. It's, it's well, 2014. 2014. If you are ignorant in 2014, it's by choice. Because look, my phone, HTC, it's got all I just click one go to Google. Google is the answer for the world today. Without Google, there's no other. Google is the way. Google. Right, Google, right? The African continent. <laughs> Learn something for yourself and for your future. <laughs> so good, Dad. Anyway, get your phone. It's like technology information is so accessible nowadays. You should not be lacking in knowledge if you really want to learn it, though. So I think most of the parties don't really care. It's, it's a country who cares they all look the same anyway <laughs> they all look the same well, they all look the same yeah so let me give you this other other story that really 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 makes me sad i was babysitting this boy and i think this was like the second week i was babysitting him and you know you have to get to know the boy you know, get to just get to know the kids so that you know they get used to you and things so i've just done some general conversation and this is the question i asked the boy please what country are you from i never said where are you from I said, what country are you from? Let me just give you a little like one or two I know on the boy. The boy is about 11 years old. He's got PlayStation. He's got an Xbox. He's he's a smart kid. I used to tutor him to math and English. Like those flashcards with the times table. This boy is smart. He's got Blackberry. He's a well-off boy. I'm just trying to like give you a little background on the boy to just you to understand. Yeah. What country are you from? And then he goes, um, Africa. I was so shocked right there. I was so shocked. And I'm like, no, Africa's not a country. He's like, oh. 
So what country are you from then? Like, all right, yeah, I'm from Cameroon. That that broke my heart. That was so sad to me that an African child himself could not even say which country he was from and was probably being bombarded with the images that he sees on TV about Africa, Africa, Africa. So it seems like that one place, I just, this topic is, I don't know, this topic is really something that affects me. I don't know if I'm taking it too seriously. I don't know if I'm going too much. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking it too far. Maybe I'm just over exaggerating on the fact that people think that the continent is a country and this one story with the boy saying that I'm from Africa when I asked him what country <sighs> so let's just get some things straight number one yes we wear shoes no we don't all walk around with our bellies out there is some yes we do have city lights it's like every image you see it's like a little village with a hut there is city life there is skyscrapers there is roads there is infrastructure it's beautiful places go and visit it and stop using the media because the media is not helping anybody the media is not portraying anybody in any positive light go and there and experience it yourself there's some amazing amazing places that you'll be shocked by the only actually the only reason you'll be shocked is because of what you've heard before previously so now that you've actually seen it oh there's places like this in the UK. Wow. There's places like this in the US. Wow. Oh, there's also places of poverty in the US. There's also places of poverty in the UK. No, we do not all live in tree houses. As cool as that would be, I could, that could be quite cool if it was quite furnished out. But no, we do not live in tree houses. And one last thing for you Africans, Africans, African youths, Africans, please stop using that word Africa and Africans so easy like that. Um. If someone asks you where you're from, please say the country. Please say I'm from Botswana. Please say I'm from Uganda. Please say I'm from Egypt. Please say the country. I don't understand how, what is so bad about your country that you need to be like, I... Who, do you ask someone a question and then they go, I'm from Europe or I'm from Asia? Why would you say I'm from... And yeah, technically you are from Africa but what country because the more you keep on feeding into i'm just african <laughs> we're all just african that it feeds into the whole africa is a country mentality and we need that's what we're trying to stop so please so actually from i'm from ghana i am proud i am proud oh my you saw my uh, fresh encounters video i cannot help myself when someone says where are you from I, I just can't so please just say the country say the country and even go a little bit ahead and go oh ghana is the west african country <laughs> you know you're educating someone even that little bit of information so please try and be conscious about how you speak it's, oh yeah this is another thing be conscious of how you speak about the african continent unless you have some sort of solution or some way of trying to tackle the problem that you are so heavily you know oh my goodness this is so bad this is so bad then just be quiet please because you're not helping because you just be negative and it doesn't help anything be conscious of how you speak about your country i hate people this in the african country i especially hate people this in ghana everyone <laughs> i am on the ghana high two four seven two four seven i will press his holy okay i think sometimes it might be misunderstood for oh deborah's just like everything's gone everything's gone but because i i know the potential that we have i believe that we are the future i believe that we have so much potential our youth now oh my goodness we could do so much the things that we have the natural resources we're just so rich and i know we're gonna blame it on you know bad corruption and bad governments and bad corruption corruption and bad governments and civil wars that have happened in the past but we in 2014 we can make a change if we really want to we really can make a change and we just need to put our heads together and just go for it because africa will be amazing it will be amazing yeah okay i'm getting to level isn't it let me just end this video hope you guys enjoy watching this video and i'll see you guys on my next one